Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Tuesday, the 26th of October. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout this service, Almighty God, Thy Word is Cast, and we will sing the first verse now. Almighty God, Thy Word is cast like seed into the ground. Now let the dew of heaven descend and righteous fruits abound. Our psalm is a portion of Psalm 47, which we say together. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great King over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his thro holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the second verse of our hymn. Let not the foe of righteousness this holy seed remove, but give it root in every heart to bring forth fruits of love. And our gospel reading is Matthew 13, 1 to 9. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on the rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus' fame is spread throughout Galilee, and uh, so he's on the beach. The people show up. He goes in a boat. So he can't, there's so many that they can't hear him. So he goes out in a boat, and as you know, the sound carries over water, and he teaches them from the boat, and he tells them this parable. He tells them lots of stories and parables, and actually it was uh, a lot of the Jewish rabbis of his time, the teachers, they used these. They, they were analogies, of course, and he tells this story about the scattering of the seeds. So um, there's sort of two parts to this. We hear the first part uh, today, and we'll hear the second part, the kind of the explanation of it on Thursday in, in Thursday's evening prayer. But here, I, I just wanted to focus on the fact that um, Jesus talks about how the word of God is like seed that is sown. And uh, who's the sower in this? You know, in Jesus' uh, parables, sometimes there's several different characters can be, can be this character, several different people. So sometimes the, the sower is God, the sower might be Jesus sowing the seed, the, the good news of the kingdom. Um, but we can be sowers too. And I think it's really important to notice here that the sower doesn't just sow in the area where the sower thinks it's going to produce root. The sower just scatters seed. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't pick and choose. 
the sower just scatters the seed everywhere. Um, the good news of God's kingdom and God's love for each one of us is, is to be freely uh, spoken of and freely shared. Um, we're not to worry about who's going to hear it and who's going to, uh, where it might take root or where it might not take root. You know, many times when we talk about our faith and we, we share about the good news, we don't know when that might produce fruit. Um, some people need to hear the message from many, many, many different people before it really takes root. Um, and, and actually, a lot of the sowing of the seed isn't necessarily talking about your faith. In our baptismal promise, uh, we, we uh, promise to um, spread the good news by word and example. And I think a lot of our sowing uh, the good news is about how we live our life how we live our Christian values and people witnessing how we are. And you never know your, how your kindness to anyone, the stranger, someone you know, good soil, rocky soil, it doesn't matter. Your kindness, um, the way you are, you never know what a difference that can make and how that can sprout in someone's life later. So uh, my message today is sow the seed. Uh, use words, use your example, just live the good news in your life, and it'll make a difference to other people. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. Let not the world's deceitful cares the rising plant destroy, but let it yield a hundredfold the fruits of peace and joy. And now uh, let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. For the peace of the whole world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, sick, and frightened, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For rest and refreshment, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. And in our prayers today, we continue to pray for those who are sick. Um, we pray for those who are known to us who are sick, we pray for the many sick that we do not know. We pray for people who are sick because of COVID or whose sickness is worse because of the COVID challenges in their life. We pray, O oh Lord, for the people who are fighting against COVID, for the medical community. We pray for scientists and research workers. We pray for politicians who are trying to make the vaccine more available throughout the world. We pray, O oh Lord, that people might understand this is a global pandemic and does need a global solution for the health of all. In our cycle of prayer for the sick, today we pray especially for Jane Ross, Jane Gatke, Jeff Smith, Cheryl Clark, Keith Braithwaite, Joseph Moore, Jody Cocker, Corrine Newell, Marion Conlon, Vic Burden, Jim Glass, Michael Benoit, Lindsay. We pray for all the sick that they might know the healing touch of Jesus in their life 
and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, and especially today we pray in memory of Brenda Brain. We pray for her husband, Larry, and their children, and all who mourn their loss. We give thanks, O Lord, for your promise to be faithful to us in death and life beyond death. We pray for all of Brenda's family that they might be able, even in the midst of their grief, to have a glimpse of Brenda's joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our refugee family, for Karima, Muhammad, Fatin, and Ahmed. We pray for their safety, O Lord, in an increasingly violent and unstable situation. We pray, O Lord, that as they are coming to the to the end of the process, a long, long process of waiting, we pray that their hope will be kept alive, and we pray for a quick resolution to their case that they might come to Canada soon. We give thanks that um, both of the parents have received their second vaccination and um, keep them safe, O oh Lord, bring them to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households in our parish list. And if you're joining us from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community as well. Today we pray for Elizabeth, Tyler, and Scott Hall, for Robert and Pam Hall, for Tom and Merlene Hall, for Ian Ham, for James and Jeanette Hambrook, for Robert Hambrook, for Richard, Drew, and Samantha Hammett, for Corey Hamill and Tricia Christie, and for Victoria and Samantha. We pray for Sherry Hamill, and we pray for James, Jacqueline, and Hayden Harrison. We pray for all of them, O Lord. We give thanks for them, pray for their health, safety, well-being, and their happiness. And we pray, O Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the... Um, extra-provincial churches of the Anglican Communion. We also pray for the Diocese of Guildford in the Church of England, the Diocese of Guinea in the Church of the Province of West Africa. We pray for their bishops and clergy and people. We pray for them as they are facing the challenges that each diocese must face, including pandemic challenges, but all the other challenges they face. We pray, O oh Lord, that your grace might flow through your church to provide for the people and to help grow a community of love and care for each other. We pray, O oh Lord, that all these dioceses might be encouraged knowing the world is praying for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Sean Glenn, we give you thanks, O Lord, for his words of wisdom, for the way he casts your word throughout. We pray for his health, well-being, and happiness. We pray uh, that your grace might continue to flow richly through him, and that as he is supported by his brothers at SSJE, that he might know there is a wider community supporting him in prayer, such as ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our nighttime prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our collect uh, for this week. 
Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. Oft as the precious seed is sown, thy quickening grace bestow, that all whose souls the truth receive, its saving power may Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I remind you that we are doing in-person services for up to 50 people. You have to uh, phone in to register in advance, uh, preferably Monday to Tuesday. Third, uh, Monday to Wednesday, phone in our number, 905-634-1826, and uh, request to come to either our 815 on Sunday or our 10 a.m. on Sunday or our 10 a.m. on the following Wednesday. Um, and, of course, we uh, also have uh, evening prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And every second Friday, we have an online uh, Teze. Uh, and the evening prayers, of course, are, are online. So I uh, hope you join us for worship in any of those ways. And uh, love to see you in person sometime if you feel comfortable coming in person. Uh, and if not, uh, know that when you join us uh, online, uh, we still form a spiritual communion. We still, we still form, uh, it still counts. <laughs> uh, we still are praying together. And I wish you an excellent night's sleep. And all God's blessings to you.